In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly lubricate a stiff knee. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to go over easy exercises that are going to focus on improving the circulation of synovial fluid around the knee. If you're unfamiliar with synovial fluid, it's a thick liquid that acts as a lubricant for the knee joint that allows it to move smoothly. Conditions like arthritis can disrupt this fluid over time, causing stiffness, achiness, even pain. So these exercises are going to focus on improving the flow of this fluid and hopefully give you a lot of relief. A note about these exercises, each one works just a little bit differently. To get the best results, go through them all, use what gives you the most relief. With that being said, Let's get started. So here's a really good exercise that can quickly loosen stiff knees, especially first thing in the morning. What we need is a flat elevated surface that we can sit on so our feet will not touch the floor. The edge of a bed should work perfectly. Let's start off by doing what are called knee swings, pretty straightforward. What you're going to do is slowly swing your feet up and down. I would go very lightly to begin with and then over time through repetitions, build into it as much as you can. What we're focusing on doing is doing this as much as we can without causing pain or discomfort. So let's say that if I went up just a little bit more right here with my right knee, I'd start to get clicking, maybe pain. At that point, I stop before that. And what you're going to notice is, is that with each repetition, you're going to get a little bit more give in there, a little bit more pain-free range of motion to build into it. So think of it as kind of like slowly breaking through rust. I like to do this for about 15 to 20 seconds. And then from there, I just relax. If it feels feels good, if it feels like it's helping, you can throw in as many repetitions as you like. But to take this one to the next level, let's focus on more movements to get more results. So I would swing them like this, like a pendulum from left to right. Do this again for about 15 to 20 seconds. You can also do circular motions like this. So do big wide circles with your legs right here. I'm going counterclockwise with it for about five to 10 times and then switching it up and then going clockwise with it. You can also do shapes so here's a square you can do triangles and if it's a little bit easier too you can do this one leg at a time just make sure whatever you do on one side to do on the other but the key is we're trying to find movements that are offering the most amount of relief or they're really attacking stiffness and tightness like let's say if I lift my right foot up towards the right side just a little bit, I can just really feel that tightness or stiffness in there. Treat that like your weak link and keep doing that movement over and over again until it finally feels like it's loosened up, like it's getting lubricated in the knee or you're not getting any more improvement. So you can really take this one to the next level by doing this. Let's scoop backward to the point where the back of the knee is flush against that surface that we're sitting on. You're going to take your hands, overlap them and put them right over the top of one knee. I usually like to start with the most painful side. So again, let's say it's my right side. I just press above the knee right here into the muscle, the quadriceps. And you don't have to use much pressure, just a little bit to create a stable anchor point. So you're going to press down and then what you're going to do on that side is turn your foot inward as much as you can. You should feel a gentle activation of the muscles around the shin, around the calves, going up into the knee. Once you feel that, you're going to slowly lift your foot up towards the ceiling. This will really intensify that muscle activation. So go again very slowly with it. Go to the point where it's comfortable not causing pain. If you start to feel pain, just back off a little bit and you're going to hold that for five seconds. You're going to relax. On the next repetition, you're going to go in the opposite direction. So turn your foot outward as much as you can. You're going to notice it hits the muscles around the knee just a little bit differently. And then you're going to repeat. Again, holding that for five seconds. Do this nice and slowly for five repetitions in both directions. And if it feels good, again, you can throw in as many repetitions as you like especially if that movement is helping you out a little bit more. Just make sure whatever you do on one side to do on the other to keep everything in balance. But go through all of these movements. Again, find those weak links and focus on them just a little bit more. And I hope that this gives you a lot of relief. So here's another easy exercise that you can do in bed or on a floor. For this one, I would wear socks or place something underneath your feet like a towel. That way you'll be able to glide your feet easily just like this. So to get into position, we're going to lie flat on our back and we're going to straighten our knees out as much as we can. 
When we're in position, we're then going to take our feet and then point our toes away from us as much as possible. I liken this to almost pressing into a gas pedal in a car. So really focus on trying to feel a good activation around the ankles that works its way into the calves towards the knees. Focus on feeling it into the knees. Once you feel that, you're going to hold this comfortably for a second or two, and then you're going to relax and then bring your feet towards you. So bringing the toes towards you just like this. This time around, you should feel the calves activate working towards the back of the knees. Hold this for a second or two, and you're just going to repeat this over and over again in both directions for about 10 to 15 times. If it feels good though, you can throw in as many repetitions as you like. So the next movement, we're going to gently press our heels into the bed of the floor and do what are known as windshield wipers. So just like a windshield wiper, we're going to slowly turn our feet towards one side as much as we can until we feel a really good activation around the knees. You can hold that for a second or two and then you're just going to go in the opposite direction and repeat for about 10 to 15 repetitions in both directions. So at this point, things should be definitely circulating and hopefully loosening up. So let's build into this and take it to the next level. We're going to bring our feet towards us like this, just keep them flat, have the knees bent, and just have everything nice and relaxed. From here, I like to take my hands, put them off to my side for support. What I'm going to do is take one knee and try to straighten it out as much as possible. And as I do this, I gently press my heel into the bed or the floor. Only go to the point where it is causing a deep stretch in the knee, but not causing pain. If that's the case, stop before that point and then hold it for a second and then bring your heel back towards you and then repeat on the other side. What we're focusing on doing is trying to open up the knee very, very slowly. So through repetitions, we're just going to get a lot of fluid circulating around the knee and hopefully just get a lot more pain-free range of motion. But if you're able to go all the way straight with your knee, try to do this one for about 10 to 15 repetitions on both sides. But again, you can throw in as many as you like. So the last movement is going to be the most challenging. We're going to focus a little bit more on strengthening, which is really important to help support the knees. So for this one, I take my hands, put them off to my side again for support. I'm going to bend my knees roughly at 90 degrees and they're going to be pointed straight up towards the ceiling. Just like pedaling a bicycle, we're just going to do really, really small kind of just pedaling motions like this. You should also feel this one into the core. It's a really good glute and core strengthening exercise, which will also support the hips, which are important for supporting the knees. Try to do this for about five to 10 seconds, but if you have a little bit more strength in you, you can do it for longer. When you need a breather, just bring your feet down like this. Try to do this for about three to five complete repetitions though, and build into it a little bit more. The bigger that you do this pedaling motion, the harder it will be. Also, if you want to take this one to the next level, instead of having your knees at 90 degrees, lower them down like this because the more that you straighten your legs, the more that you're going to feel that core engaged. So give that a try. Go through all of those movements. If one is helping you out a little bit more at that point, throw some more repetitions in. So if you want strong, healthy, loose, lubricated knees, you have to focus on strengthening the muscles that help support them. One of the best exercises to do this is the squat. Here's a really easy variation called a wall sit that will allow you to pretty much control the movement and allow people with conditions such as arthritis to be able to do it. So for this one, we need a smooth wall or a door. What you're going to do is put your whole backside flush against it. Your feet are going to be out in front of you and you're going to have your legs roughly hip width apart. It's really important that we put all of our body weight onto our heels during this exercise. It'll help not only stabilize the movement but also engage the glutes which are really important. So make sure to place all of your body weight right on your heels. I then like to turn my toes out slightly like 5 to 10 degrees. It will help take tension off the knees. From here, we're going to brace the core muscles to protect the back. It's kind of like if somebody was to poke you in your stomach, how you tense up, mimic that and hold it during this exercise and really focus on squeezing those glutes. 
From here, pretty straightforward. You can put your arms out in front of you just like this, and you're just going to slide downward, kind of like a sitting motion. The more that you go down, the more that you're going to feel a lot of muscles start to fire, including the glutes, the legs, all the way down to the knees. Go down as far as you feel comfortable. Don't go to the point of pain. If that's the case, back off slightly. In this position, you want to try to hold it for about three to five seconds, and then you're going to come back up like this, take a breather. On the next repetition, try to go down just a little bit more, really challenge yourself. But do this nice and slowly for about five to 10 repetitions, and then from there, take a breather. If it feels like you have a little bit more energy, try to throw in another set or two. But the great part about this exercise is it's going to help you with a lot of activities throughout the day, like going up and down stairs and getting out of a chair. If the exercise has helped, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.